everyone, I'm Danielle, and I'm one of your district's science fair coordinators. The Westland Wilsonville School District has an outstanding science fair program that is available to all students. Our regional fair is the Crest Jane Goodall Science Symposium, and we're affiliated with the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. We're known as ISAF for short. Hopefully this isn't the first time you've heard about the science fair program here. Last year, we had more than 200 students participate, so I bet someone you know has done it. We're back again this year to remind you that the science fair program has room for you and any idea you want to pursue. I'd like to start by introducing you to Anne Makazinski, an ISEF finalist from years past. I'm Anne, I'm 16, and I live in British Columbia, Canada. I think the biggest mistake people make about kids who enter science fairs is that we are top of the class, straight A students. I'm not the genius nerd some people expect me to be. I think the only difference is that we're always questioning how things work. I've always enjoyed science because science is, well, everything. This is no more obvious to me than with insects. I love them. Ever since I was a kid, I've been interested in how they are so small but so complicated. You could say, it's what first got me interested in science. I believe, to be truly environmentally conscious, you must be willing to think of ways to create change. My mom is from the Philippines. A friend there told me how she had failed at school because her family could not afford electricity. Without it, there was no light for her to study and her grades suffered. I really wanted to do something about it, but she needed an energy source that wasn't dependent on money. I found out that humans are a great source of untapped energy, so figured it would be amazing to make a flashlight that runs on the heat of the human hand alone. I discovered that the palm radiates more than enough milliwatts per centimeter squared of heat to create a bright light from an LED. I used Peltier towels to utilize this heat flow. The towels are a thermoelectric device, which means that when one side is heated and one side cooled, electricity is generated. I encased the Peltier towels within a hollow tube so that the hand heats one side and ambient air flows through and cools the other. It was so amazing when the flashlight finally lit. I've learned that we shouldn't be scared by how crazy our ideas seem. Harvesting human heat? I thought that only happened in the movies. There are still 1.4 billion people in the world without electricity. Now that my flashlight is a reality, I'm hoping my crazy idea can be part of the solution. I love Anne's project because it's so practical. She saw a problem and she set out to solve it. And what I love about her solution is that she didn't have to invent any of the pieces of her flashlight. A person can purchase Peltier tiles online for less than a dollar, and you can buy PVC at a hardware store for pennies. But her creativity and determination was the most valuable thing she brought to the table. The only difference between you and Anne is that you haven't gotten started yet. Every student has the potential to solve a world problem or answer a question that hasn't been known before. The key to getting started is tapping into your curiosity and finding a topic that is genuinely interesting to you. Here in our district, the science fair works like this. Early in the fall, students pre-register for our regional fair, which will take place in early March, using this tiny URL. By pre-registering for the science fair, you indicate to the ISEF program coordinators that you want to talk about some scientific questions or engineering goals that are exciting to you. Pre-registering is great because you aren't fully committing to doing a science fair project yet. It just gives you time to explore your ideas a little, and you won't commit to finishing your science fair project until right after Thanksgiving. Your ISEF coordinators are here to help you develop an idea, plan out a project, conduct the experiment or build the prototype, and then present your project to professional engineers and scientists from the community. We help you through the whole process by having a brief meeting with you every week. For the 2021 school year, our meetings will take place entirely via Zoom. After you pre-register, you'll be contacted by an ISEF coordinator with a weekly date and time for your meeting. Each week, we'll talk about how your project is developing and we'll set small goals so that you make steady progress. If you want to be successful in ISEF, every week you should do three things. One, check your email and our Google Classroom. 
two, prepare for your weekly meeting, and three, set a reasonable goal for the next week. If you're only slightly interested in pursuing your own project idea, but want a few more pieces of evidence that will show you what a great program ISEF is, here you go. Firstly, you can receive 0.5 credits on your transcript for completing an ISEF project. This credit counts as a science elective and looks great on job and college applications because it shows that you're independent and good at following through. Some science teachers will give you credit in a class for completing a science fair project, but it depends on the class. Talk to your teacher for more information. Another good reason is that at the regional science fair in early March, we give out thousands of dollars in cash prizes and scholarships. Many projects receive recognition from national organizations like the Office of Naval Research and NASA. The top 30% of our projects will be advanced to the state level science fair and our top four projects will go directly to the International Science and Engineering Fair. Next, the ISEF program is open to all students who live within the Westland Wilsonville School District boundaries, including students in our online school. You can do an ISEF project as a team. Up to three students can do a science fair project together and you'll all receive credit even if you don't go to the same school. Finally, you have access to district and regional scientific equipment and expertise. The ISEF motto is think big, think small, think beyond, and we encourage you to do the same. Your ISEF coordinators are here to help you investigate virtually any topic, so please get in touch. Before we go, let's talk about some frequently asked questions. For example, what does the science fair judging experience look like? Good question. This year, our science fair will be held entirely virtually. Students will assemble a digital project portfolio, which will include a poster board, like you may have seen at science fairs in the past. There will be also written materials in the portfolio, including a research plan. Judges will review these portfolios and then all students will be interviewed by a panel of professional scientists and engineers. Where can I work on my science fair project? The needs of every project are different, so your ISEF coordinator can help you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Some common places where projects take place include the garage, a greenhouse, a computer lab or office, the field, including the ocean, forests, and habitats unique to Oregon public places like parks, shopping malls. And this year, there's going to be extremely limited work at school. So we'll work with you directly to make sure you can investigate your topic in a safe way. Believe it or not, there are so many projects, even in life science, that can be done at home. What if I need access to equipment that I don't have or is too expensive? The ISEF program has acquired tons of equipment over the years. So if we have what you're looking for, you're welcome to borrow it. If equipment needs to be purchased, ISEF offers small grants to help students cover the cost of their projects, and our department has many connections to borrow equipment from organizations in the area. Don't let expenses get in the way of doing a great project. Just communicate with one of the ISEF coordinators and we can make arrangements. Who can I talk to about the ISEF program? The science teachers at your school are a fantastic resource to find out more about the ISEF program. Over the years, every one of them has worked with or supported a student. Feel free to talk to them about the program, but you can always email one of the ISEF coordinators like Jennifer. Before we go, let's hear from some of the past ISEFers. Science Fair allows you to apply your ideas. It kind of lets you go outside of your box or comfort zone. It's, it's just a different experience. It's hands-on. It's not your typical classroom education. You just learn a lot about yourself as a student, how experiments are conducted, how to be a good scientist, and just how to go through all the procedures and motions of doing lab work. So, uh, Getting to see so many young people uh, uh, tackling some really huge problems was really inspiring. And I also got some really good tips on science communication and selling your ideas. So this could be helpful if, say, I ever wanted to make a business out of my plastic and use to sell it to investors. It ended up being a really good experience for me because I now figured out how to focus, how to laser focus into my competition, how to get my head into the game where I wanted it to be. The first award I ended up winning was a first place Agni Award, which honored a former Prime Minister of India's work in, in uh, aeronautics, space, and engineering program. 
and that came with a thousand dollars. And the second award, which I think was the biggest shock to both me, my team, and my family, was uh, I received a full ride to Drexel University, which is a college in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We're a professional in our field of research. And that's really amazing. We're able to publish our research. We're able to uh, present what we did to somebody who maybe has um, been doing research in that field for the past 20 years. So that's basically the ICEF program. If we've said anything here today that sparked your interest even in the slightest, I encourage you to go to the tiny URL, pre-register, and that will let one of the ICEF coordinators know that you're interested in hearing more about ICEF or talking about your project ideas. There's nothing to lose by just checking out our program and talking about some really awesome science or engineering.